the Filipina needs to have a new face in the global world. I think we should be able to help the younger generation of Filipinas be able to step up and therefore I decided to step up myself to do something as uh, I think it's huge, huge work of being able to rally and inspire a core group of people, younger ones who can now take it on to help us put this all together to be able to put together uh, a woman force in the country. I think the important thing in all the work that I've done is how do you create masters? Face the face to face it out. You know, face is F-A-C-E. There's a lot of fears, F. A, attachments we have about, you know, I'm supposed to be like this, you know, treat me like this. C, control issues. It's got to be this way, right? Or entitlement. Why am I not being asked, you know? Face. You got to face that first with yourself. And then realize when you can let it go, then the leadership ability can step in. Because leadership is really, when you look at it at its highest level, it's actually vision and selfless service. As women leaders, if we have that inside us, the woman being already service-oriented, full of love for her own family, for the community she's with, you know, the women have this capacity. And when we create women leaders who have the capacity to express this in a place where they can make transformative change, I think the BPW's role in at least coming together to mentor and inspire young women will be very valid. So that's the seed we're planting with the BPW, which is actually aligned to an international organization, a signatory to the United Nations Compact, which is for women's economic empowerment. So we're just reflecting it locally in the very best way we can through our organization.